It took many years of waiting, but finally version 3 of Affinity comes with a proper auto trace tool. So let's dive into this brand new feature, brand new feature for Affinity and pretty old feature for Adobe Illustrator or CorelDRAW. So how can we turn a bitmap, a raster image into a vector with the help of the computer? So here I am, I got this uh, raster illustration, as you can see it's pixelated and I got also a scan of the sketch. It's pretty blurry and pixelated as well. So let's start with the one on the left, click on it first and then in the vector menu on the top you can find image trace. Select that option and the assistant will kind of help you to prepare the layer, turn it from image layer into pixel layer. So it's kind of trimming the resolution for you, you don't need to worry about that. And then we got this image trace pop-up with two sliders on it. Keep in mind, we can modify thresholds and help to decide how many colors do we really, really need here. And we can also curve fitting a bit and in that case, we also modifying those patches of colors. So it's gonna be a bit tricky at first. So the best way to get a feel for it is to experiment a bit. And by default, they're usually about the mid range. You can try to jump lower or higher to see the difference. Take a look. I got way, way more colors when I'm moving to the left. I actually can see those shadows. How about this slider? Seems like it's way smoother when I move this down. So in both cases, I move it a bit down to around 35. So that's what helped me out with this kind of illustration comic style. Move both sliders to the left and then click apply. And it's done. We don't need to wait for this long auto trace bar to finish the process. So that's great. You will see one group in your layer panel and you will have all of the vector shapes in that group. You can ungroup or simply change your selection mode to the second option to object selection. This way you can select in, inside a group. What I like to do with this kind of traces, I like to remove the backdrop completely. That's usually something I don't need. I need the object of the picture. Let's zoom in. I like to use Command Plus to zoom in, but I'm kind of old so you can use uh, view, zoom in if you like to do it from the menu at the top or you can use the navigator as well. As you can see, I don't even use navigator. That's how old I am. All right, so here we are. Keep in mind, all of those are vector shapes now. And if you don't like the shape of it, for example, I see a little mistake here. So press space bar to move around. Here it is. I don't like this bump here. So I can select the node tool. It will show me those nodes that are kind of building blocks for the curve. And I can delete the one that are unnecessary. Keep in mind, you need to do it for the white color as well. And this way, this way we can get this a bit smoother. All right, so that's kind of your second step. Usually, usually the auto trace is not ideal. We tell the computer to do our job but it's still a good idea to check it afterwards. Like here, take a look. This one is a bit spiky. And this is another problem with auto trace. Instead of giving us lines, very often auto trace will give you something like this. A silhouette of the whole thing in that outline color. So just be ready for that. It's not a proper line around the object. It's more like a silhouette of the whole object as one shape. So it's actually pretty well organized if you look at it from the perspective of limiting, limiting the number of nodes. So because this is the silhouette under, I will need to modify the one of the color. I can turn it into curvy one and I can move it around really. If you got something small like this, you can completely delete that from the layer panel. Little trash bin icon. All right, so that's what I recommend to do. I recommend to do some final tuning and a bit of changes. And here it is. Let's say I wanna export this guy as a scalable SVG. Select. And then in 
in the right side they got this export png but you can click the arrow to open the menu where you can switch from png to svg and here it is you can decide on the size of it svg for export that's the recommended format selection only and then you can export locally to your device or if you plan to use this in your canva design you can change this to export directly to your canva upload folder all right so that's how you can auto trace illustrations how about sketches here's the sketch and again this process is similar we click on it first then we head to vector menu and click image trace as you can see the result is not great straight away so let's this time try to move the thresholds other way around it's not really improved so let's try the balance approach like 50 50 And now, now I will move only top one. Seems like the top one can be left here around 10. And now I move only the bottom one. To the right, to the left, keep it in the middle. All right, now I'm going to click apply. And it will be very quickly turned into a group again, full of vector layers. So let's try to ungroup this one. I will right click in the layer panel and I will select ungroup. Here it is. With the node tool selection, as you may notice a moment ago, I can see all of the nodes. And this way I can see how complex this trace is. It would be ideal if we got like additional tool for making the object simplify but that's not the case just yet but we can very quickly and easily modify certain colors in any vector illustration so if you select the layer you can very quickly move the color toggle here in the color menu and this way you can modify that color or like before you can delete that whole object all right, so keep in mind, they are not lines, even though they look like lines. They are shapes, so you cannot easily modify them. You need to use the node tool on both sides. So if I drag this side, I need to also modify this another side as well, maybe by adding additional nodes. So it will take a bit more time. That's kind of the thing when the computer is doing the tracing and not human. You can tell by those details but in most cases this will speed up your work remember if the trace is totally messy you can try different software or you can try old-fashioned approach with redrawing some elements by hand all right so that's a trace in new affinity version 3 supported by canva i know many of you have been waiting for it so i hope it's a good news Thank you for today and I will see you in the next tutorial.